Hi, this is Andreas with This Weekend Triathlon, and I'm joined by Pierre Perron of Louis Garneau, and we're going to talk about a couple of cool new products that Louis Garneau has come out with. And um, Pierre, why don't we start with the PO9, uh, the newest aero helmet uh, from Louis Garneau. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. The P09 is our new aero helmet. What we did, we start from the Vortis helmet from last year and we look at all the data and basically wanted to develop a, a faster helmet. So the first thing that you do when you, you want to have a faster helmet, you try to reduce the overall size of the helmet. So the new P09 is 20% less uh, in volume than the, the, the Vortis. So actually, it presents less surface to the air, so it's faster in that, that uh, area. The other thing that we did also, as you can see, the back is way rounder at the back, and the, the tail is quite a little bit shorter. So what it does basically is when you're wearing it, and the air bounces on the shoulder and back at the helmet, it gives a, a, a straight flow and a, a better flow of the air. So again, another point to make it faster. The other thing that we find out is that no matter what kind of visor you're wearing, the air will always try to get inside the helmet, and you need something to get to relieve that pressure. So the speed port on the side, as you can see, will help reduce the pressure inside the helmet and make it faster. Another aspect of it is like 180 gram lighter than the other one. So for the rider that's doing an Ironman like here, 180 k, uh, every weight counts. So and, and you're talking 180 lighter than the, the, the Vortis, Vortis, the previous okay. helmet, yeah. uh, which probably being this helmet, one of the lightest aero helmet. So if you want to be fully aero, you go with the visor and you go with the plug that is removable if you need more ventilation. You can do it on course. The other thing that is pretty special with that helmet is that the visor at the transition, so it's easy to put the helmet on. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. And then, then you go, you close the, uh, the visor. If you need to relieve the visor while you're riding, it's easy. You just have to unclip it, put it in your back pocket, and you get more ventilation. So we really think about everything with the helmet to make sure that it's uh, most functional aero. And, and if you get to re get rid of this, if you have to get rid of this middle of the race because it's it's bugging you, you need more ventilation, you can replace this. You can buy another one. You're, you'll have the those visor available. will be sold separately, and the plug is be sold. So if, it, if ever if something happens, you know, it's going to be replaceable. Last thing. Ice feel padding that will react with your sweat to cool you down. So again, trying to maximize the uh, ventilation on, on an aero helmet. So why don't we switch and I'll give you this helmet for somebody who wants uh, just one helmet that's going to be uh, very well ventilated uh, as well as uh, aerodynamic. Uh, even though it may not necessarily look like it's aerodynamic, uh, this is a course helmet, right? Yes. Okay, so basically what we developed with the course helmet, I mean, we're in Kona right now, it's very humid, lots of athletes are really concerned about overheating. It's been the talk of the, of the week and I've been receiving calls from athletes, from pro athletes. They're really concerned. Some of them, they don't want to compromise their performance because of uh, 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 hydration or fluid problem, too much fluid, lose of fluid. They really want to be uh, as, as much ventilated as possible because of the heat and humidity. So that's, that's where the, the core helmet comes in, in play. Basically, we develop our theory for the aerodynamic with the road helmet is that we, what you see in the market right now is really round and closed helmet. What they try to achieve is to get the air around the helmet, like an aero helmet. What we wanted to achieve here is to get the air through the helmet. So that's another way to relieve the pressure. So basically, what you, the, the wind is pushing on the helmet. There's two ways of getting rid of it, around or through it. So what we did, we take the, the, the helmet and we design it to work at 25 degree angle. So basically, if you look at it like this, and you do like this, you can see that see right it's fully it. ventilated. And that's how the, the riders are riding like this. The air go through the helmet, relieve the pressure, and make that helmet the most road aero helmet. It beats everything in the market right now, and it's not us who's saying it. You just go on the blog and you talk to people who are testing it. They will tell that, that that's what's going on right now. It's lighter, much ventilated, and it's aero. So for Kona this year, it's going to be so look, look for that perhaps on the on the Kona count uh, as a helmet that does the, really well, or, or do they not separate the category? Is it just a Louis Garneau helmet? They're gonna do we, this year. Uh, we the helmet count will be done separately. So uh, aero helmet, regular road helmet, and road aero helmet. So, but 
those helmet, this helmet, I've been releasing them market. I mean, uh, lately, uh, you, you're not going to see that much of the uh, course helmet because they just came in the market. Lately. Perhaps not this year, but well, next watch year. it for next year. And, and, uh, sorry. sorry to interrupt, but uh, for those who want to read more about the uh, aerodynamics aspect, uh, there's a lot of information on Slow Twitch from uh, Jim and Aero Sports. Yes. And you go on our website, you have all the data and all the aerodynamic data of the helmet. Cool. Well, thanks for spending a, a couple sure. minutes with us and uh, certainly some exciting stuff from uh, Craig Alexander on Saturday. Yeah, watch for the new kit. It's, it's going to okay. be something to watch for sure. Yeah, so stick <laughs> around and uh, check it out on, on Saturday. Thanks again, Thank Peter. You. Pleasure, guys.